everybody, this is the awesome MCB here, and today I'm going to show you how you can get your NAT type from D to B using a VPN for your Nintendo Switch. Now, why would it be set to D exactly? It's because, well, ports aren't specifically open. Um, usually you can go into your router settings and change it to allow those ports, and then you can get it pretty much up to A. However, if you're like me and you use... A hotspot for your home internet, then of course, it, well, let's just say AT and T happens to block a lot of ports, and they do not support port forwarding on hotspot devices. So let's just get right into this. So of course, you're going to need uh, um, a computer that's able to host this hotspot. We'll show. I'll show you that in a bit, and a Nord VPN. And, well, of course, the Nintendo Switch. So if we see here, we'll just do a test connection here. You can see here we have internet, but of course it's the NAT type is D, which, well, we don't want. So, now let's head over to the computer side, and then I'll show you what you're supposed to do next. Okay, now with the, we are on the computer, we're going to first need to check something before we do it. That's why I'm using a laptop here, of course, you can tell by the battery icon here, and there's, this is not really my main desktop, this is my laptop, but... So, let's head over to Command Prompt, and make sure you run as administrator. And first, you want to type in it, net... S H W LAN show drivers. There's a whole bunch of all this stuff, but the main one we're looking for is this one right here, the hosted network support. And if that's set to yes, then we're we're good to continue. However, if yours is a no, then you need to either update the network drivers or your network card does not support it. But since this is, of course, a laptop, usually what I've seen, the laptops usually do have the support, but it may vary depending on what you have. So now that it is, we are good to go to the next step. Okay, now we're ready for the next step. Now we're going to type in this command, which is net shwlan set hosted network mode equals allow. SSID, this is what you're going to put your SSID as, e SSD equals and then the name you want for your network name. For Of course, for our purposes, we're just going to be doing YouTube for the SSID. And the key, of course, of, uh, the key equals sign, and then, of course, the password you want. But for this video, we're just going to be doing the highly unsecure 1234567 Yeah, I'd, I would highly advise not doing this. Like, don't have your password like this. Now we're just going to hit the enter key, and it will get a few messages here saying the hosted network mode has been set to allow, the SSID of the hosted network has successfully changed, the user key passphrase of the hosted network has been successfully changed. Now we're ready for the next command, which is net shwlan start hosted network. Now we should see the message saying that the hosted network has started. But we're not ready to go back to the switch yet, because now it even is broadcasting a Wi-Fi signal, we need to go to the next step. So now that the network has started, let's go ahead and head to the next step. Just go ahead and go ahead and do a right click on your network icon down here. Click on open internet and internet settings. And then click on change adapter options. Okay, now we're here in the network connections. You can see we have... These are the main two we're, sp we're hoping to be looking at. Of course, here's our main one we're connected to. This is the one we just created, which is local area connection. And then we'll usually have a number, let's say 12, 13, or 14. It really just depends. But the one we're looking for is right here, the NordVPN. If we right-click that, and then press Properties, we'll have all of this stuff. But we want to focus on the Sharing tab. Now what we want to do is select the, the, from the list, and of course we got the one right here, which is the one that we created. And we're going to select that one, check allow it, and then usually this would be checked, but 
I just unchecked it for security purposes, even though it, the only thing it would do is turn on and turn off the network connection, but there's no need for that. So and then we press OK. And then now, let's go ahead and head into NordVPN. We'll just do a quick connect. All right, we now have an internet connection through Nord. And then now you can see here that it says shared right here, which is exactly what we want. So if you're up to this point, now we're ready to continue to go back to the switch. Now one thing I forgot to point out, I do have to apologize for the poor quality coming from my switch. I don't have the best method right now of actually recording this, so this is going to have to do. So now we're going to go ahead and head to our internet settings. And then have it search for our network. Down right here you can see the network we have created. So we're going to connect to that one and just do our very unsecure password. Which I advise to not use. We are now connected to the internet. And now we just do a head, go ahead and do a test connection. You can now see that our NAT type is now B. And there's also ways to do this with... Uh, a router but of course the router I have has like a 480 megahertz clock and usually when you're encrypting stuff sending over the internet you need a good CPU enough to do it so that's why I used a laptop so yeah so I hope you'll have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed be sure to the like button down below and if you're new around here be sure to the subscribe button hit that bell icon and um, yeah I will talk to you all later